<clears throat> I'm back. Okay, today we are going to talk about. Wait, wait. Before we get into the video topic, I want to say this. I will try to be more consistent on YouTube. I will say this too. These videos take me a long as time to edit. So I'm going to try to be more consistent with the school year coming back up. I'm about to go back to high school. It's my last year of high school, it's senior year. Try to be consistent for senior year. I'll try in college. I'll probably pre-record some videos in college and probably like sporadically release them, whatever. I'll still be somewhat active though, so. Okay, in today's video, we are gonna talk about what has happened to all of these new gen fans. And when I say this, this is both a good thing and a negative thing, because when I see the fans, I see one thing. There's a lot more anime, manga, just content in general you can talk about with a lot wider variety of people that you just couldn't when I started watching in 2016. Like when I started, um, you could watch anime, but to do it in public and to show off that you watch anime, a lot of people just look at you like, what is he watching? What? And it really didn't have to be no thing crazy like that, honestly. When I started watching in 2016, someone would low-key look at you crazy for watching Hunter. What? If it wasn't Dragon Ball or Naruto or one of those big anime, if I'm being honest, in 2016, there weren't too many people that were around my age at that point, which was like about to be middle school, elementary, that watched anime. And if they did, they're watching uh, maybe Attack on Titan. If we're being lucky, maybe Bleach or One Piece. They might just watch anime strictly off of Adult Swim because I know a lot of you remember Adult Swim was airing anime reruns all the time. But now there's a lot wider variety of fans. Anime as a whole in the West and in the US specifically has grown an ridiculous amount. It's actually insane how much it's grown. But with all that said, here comes the negatives. The negatives is that since it's gotten so much more popular, the fan bases have gotten a lot more toxic. But the difference is between previous toxicity and now toxicity, they're toxic to the point where they don't even want you to enjoy the content you like. And that's one thing I'll say for anyone watching this, always remember, like what you like. No one should be out here telling you basically trying to force you to give up on your favorite anime because it was mid. And really what comes with every new anime now is just this immense amount of pushback whenever the anime is about to end, or sorry, manga. It really doesn't matter, anime or manga. Whenever it's about to end, it's an immense amount of pushback. Why? I don't really get it. I don't understand why, like in the slightest. Cause most of the time the ending makes sense. Like for example, I don't know if y'all are caught up on Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm not gonna go into much about Jujutsu Kaisen, but the new chapter, the new leaks were insane. At the time of recording this, they just dropped, I think last night. They were insane, JJK 267. But I see, I see, it's not that many people, but I see a good amount of people that are just like, oh, Disney Kaisen, what is this? What is this? Oh, this is terrible. Really, they're only saying this because they feel like a character is being brought back with no explanation which if you don't get it, you just didn't read the manga well enough. I don't know what to tell you. And that leads into another point. Reading comprehension is low key at an all time low. Not even just, not reading, not even just reading comprehension, media comprehension as a whole. There's no reason that there's so many plot points in anime that people just don't get when there are really basic plot points. I've had people tell me so much misinformation about Jojo, and I'm like, there's no way we watch the same story because there's no way you say that. Uh, did you know that Jonathan is actually Star Platinum? No, he's not. No. Jonathan Stan is quite literally still with Dio. Dio has two stands in part three. It doesn't do much. His stand doesn't do much. I'm pretty sure it could predict the future. If I remember correctly, if I could find something that supports me, I'll probably put it up. But that's just one example of bad media comprehension. There's been people that will tell you 
and saying things and they really, really, truly, truly in their heart believe it. And you just have to look at them like there's no way we read the same manga. Also, another thing is with the popularity of anime coming through, there's been a lot of division within the anime community itself as a whole because now the anime community is not, it's just, it's not looked at as just a bunch of weirdos that watch anime. It's now looked at as a wide variety of people that watch anime. But with that wide variety comes the people that section themselves into one or two or three specific animes. Now, I've been guilty of doing that. I've done it before. I'm kind of doing it now, but I don't really say anything to other fandoms or really talk about other animes because I don't really care about them that much. That doesn't mean I don't still watch other animes except the three animes that I love. No, it means when I come online and to y'all, most of the time, y'all gonna hear what? JoJo's, Jujutsu Kaisen, Dragon Ball, one of those come out of my mouth. You might hear a scening or a shoujo come out of my mouth sometimes, but it's like very rare. But I'm saying that to say the overwhelming majority, the overwhelming popularity of people who watch anime, when they segment themselves or segment themselves, they just start hating like they start hating on every other anime, manga. It doesn't matter when it came out. It doesn't matter why it's out. It could be one of the best things that they have ever seen and they might still hate on it just to keep the gimmick. It's gotten to the point where I don't even like arguing with anime fans online when I post a video on TikTok or even when I post a video here because there's always going to be someone in the comments that are just like, man, you need to stop watching da 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 da. Start watching more of this or more of this or more of this or oh JoJo so mid. Why do you watch that? And really it's gotten to the point where it's like, I don't care what you think is made. I'm the one watching it. How can you sit here and tell me my taste ain't valid when I'm the one watching it? Unless it is literally, literally. And when I say literally, I mean in the literal sense, the weird, weird, cause there are a lot of weird anime, but one of the weird, weird, borderline illegal, you will be looked at as a PDF if you were to watch it. Those are the only anime I say, yeah, why are you watching that? Other than that, I feel like you should really enjoy whatever it is that you decide to watch. You know what I mean? You should enjoy, you should love these chapters that are coming out and all this stuff that is coming out because now it's a lot more accessible. It's a lot easier. I still remember the days in 2016 where I would try to find a, any episode of an anime and all I see is a corner of the actual screen and the rest of it is just some random background on YouTube. Naruto Shippuden, I'll never forget. And really, how can we make this better? The thing about the anime community is that in real life, it's not that terrible. Of course, there's a lot of weird stuff I see even when I go to school, cause I'm still in high school. It's a lot of weird stuff I see where people watch anime or whatever or how they express watching anime but that's them but like online <sighs> we got some work to do if we really want the anime community to get better but really that's all i had to say if you like the video and you stayed the whole way make sure you subscribe follow my other socials and until next time peace <laughs>